Today is a very bad day for Rob Reiner and everything is collapsing around him at an extremely rapid rate and it's absolutely hilarious and glorious to watch. Now, Rob Reiner, as we know, is someone who is suffering heavily from TDS. I mean, just look at this guy. He's, he's having a, a, a rough time, guys. He's having a very, very hard time. Just look at him. He looks so sad, man. He looks so sad. And why, why does he look so sad? Well, it could be because his new film that he just put out in theaters recently called God and Country, which is a blatant attack on conservative values, on Christianity and everything else. And it's hilarious that he made a film about Christianity, considering the fact that he doesn't even claim to be a Christian himself. In fact, he is very much against Christian ideologies. He is someone who decided to put out this film that is showing the the and raising awareness of the dangers of Christian nationalism. Ooh. 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 So he put out this trailer here for it. Uh, if you guys haven't watched the trailer yet, we can watch uh, just a little bit here so you guys get kind of an idea of what's going on here. America and Christianity are like baseball and apple pie, and we celebrate them together. I was 16, 17 years old when I became a Christian. I'm an evangelical minister. I've been a Christian my whole life. I'm a Christian nationalist. I have nothing to be ashamed of because that's... Everyone just sitting there, just, you know, raiding wisdom off of them, as you can see, just sitting silently. So, so, much, uh, so much wisdom. It's crazy. what most Americans are. Is Christian nationalism Christian? Um, no, it isn't. Is Christian nationalism Christian? N no. No, it's, it isn't. It's not nice. It's not tolerant of all of the, the, the evil stuff, guys. <laughs> we should be blazing forth as a countercultural example, and instead... Wait, so, okay, so, and I, I just want to, I just want to make a point here, okay? So, Jesus was a refugee, is apparently what the sign says. I mean, the question is, what was Jesus a refugee from, and... To what? You know, like, so the, the whole idea is that Jesus was a refugee was because he, well, he was a, he was a baby and he was fleeing from one country that was trying to, you know, delete babies to another country. So you literally right there, that goes directly against everything that is happening in our country right now with, with abortion and everything else. So what is, I mean, if, if somebody back then put a law into place that would outlaw the, deleting of babies up to two years old would that have been considered christian nationalism you know like it's so silly it's so ridiculous but this is of course is rob reiner who isn't even a christian himself you know he has said in the past things like this where uh, why does a jewish agnostic hollywood elitist care about western christianity in middle southern usa seems like maybe you hate christians we will take it from here kind sir i'm not a christian says rob reiner right there quote quote from Rob Reiner himself. Anyway, so his whole film here, okay? His whole film, God and Country. Well, let's just say that it didn't do very well in the box office, okay? So like all Rob Reiner movies, God and Country flops with 38,000 opening. Not 38 million opening, 38,000. Basically, no one showed up to watch Rob Reiner's film. And that, to me, is absolutely amazing and hilarious. Like all Rob Reiner movies, Rob Reiner's documentary, God and Country, The Rise of Christian Nationalism, didn't just tank at the box office. It was humiliated. In 85 theaters, Reiner's bigoted attack on Christians who dared to vote for Trump earned just 38000 over four days. As one website put it, that's averaging $451 per theater over four days which is incredibly low <laughs> uh i love it i love it you know you, you can try to do every, everything you want to rob reiner to try to spout your tds nonsense to spout your anti-christian ridiculousness and uh, nobody is here for it if you assume it only had one showing each day, and likely it had several, it brought in around $112 a day, or 10 people a day spread across however many showings. Not a shock to a lot of us, I'm sure, but a lot of the woke critics, of course, love this film. They praise it. Oh, Rob Reiner is the greatest person ever. He has brought light on all of Trump's darkness it's so ridiculous but i'm glad to see this movie flopped let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon